Hello everyone, so I just want to do a video on how the fuel system works on a carbureted motorcycle. So the fuel obviously is stored in the fuel tank, just here. Now at the bottom of the fuel tank, just in here, I have a little tap so I can turn it on or off using that tap. Just flick it like that and it's off. I flick it like that and it's back on. Now from the fuel tap it leads out on the other side here via some rubber fuel line into an inline fuel filter. So the inline fuel filter is directional so you have to make sure that that's put on properly its role is just to filter the fuel inside it has I suppose a little like a paper mesh to filter the fuel and from there it feeds from the fuel filter via this line up here which you can see just underneath here it feeds into the fuel pump and then the fuel pump has an inlet and from there it pumps the fuel via an outlet an output pipe here via this fuel line up into the carburetors so it feeds up under the fuel tank and there we have the carburetors now it feeds into this little float bowl that's what it feeds into so there is that one line would break up into four um, fuel lines that feed each of the uh, four carburetor float bowls, one for each cylinder of the engine on this V4 engine. Going back to the fuel pump, the fuel pump is connected into the wiring harness and connected to the battery via this little red lead here. Okay, so that's for the fuel. So the fuel pump is electrically powered. The fuel pump is controlled via this relay here, which is called the fuel um, fuel pump cutoff relay. The fuel pump relay comes under a different, a few different names. The role of the fuel pump relay, um, well, it's really only there for safety. So basically, the fuel pump relay is actually controlled by the engine control module, which is this unit here. So the engine control unit controls the spark that goes to the engine, to the cylinders of the engine, or it controls the spark in the spark plugs, which are just here. So the role of the fuel cutoff relay is essentially if the motorcycle if you have an accident and the motorcycle goes down what will usually happen is that the if the engine loses power so the engine loses power the engine control module will stop supplying spark essentially to the um, to the spark plugs and to the cylinder of the engine the engine will no longer be running but your fuel pump is connected up to the um, into the wiring harness and it's connected up to the battery. So your fuel pump would keep pumping and that could be a dangerous situation because if you're in an accident and you get down with the motorcycle and the fuel pump is still pumping but let's say there's a break in the line somewhere anywhere on the fuel line break in the the fuel pump up to carburetors if there's any break in that fuel line and fuel starts leaking everywhere then it's going to keep being pumped out and if there's a fire then that's obviously a dangerous situation so the role of the fuel cutoff relay is it is controlled by the engine control module and if the engine control module is not firing as in that indicates that the motorcycle is no longer running then it ensures that the fuel pump 
is no longer running. Now, some people actually delete the fuel cutoff relay. They can take out the fuel cutoff. They can disconnect the fuel cutoff relay by this little connector here, and they can short some wires, and that means that the fuel pump is always on. So that is really the only role of the fuel cutoff relay. It's just there as a safety mechanism. Now, the other component components in the fuel system are just around here. If we take a look, there is a lead which feeds up under the tank here and is connected into the wiring harness. So this is the um, this f this feeds up into the uh, uh, an apparatus that is underneath the engine or underneath the, uh, at the it's fitted into the bottom of the fuel tank, and its role is to it has two roles I suppose. The first role is we have our fuel level gauge. Okay. So measuring how much fuel we have in the fuel tank and that is controlled via this lead here which is connected up to the um, fuel level fuel level gauge which is under, built into the underside of the fuel tank now there's also a second component inside connected up with the f um, the fuel gauge and that is the uh, fuel reserve uh, warning. So the fuel reserve warning has a little light which is just here. So when I turn on the ignition initially it should light up and after a few seconds it goes off and that indicates that it's working. If it stayed on it could be an indication that you have no fuel left in your tank. Okay so it is connected to the uh, to the fuel level gauge, which is built into the underside of the fuel tank, and it is also connected into this wire, into the wiring harness, which is connected to the battery. And from there, it's connected up through the wiring loom up into the instrument cluster for our fuel gauge and our fuel reserve warning light. So that is the basic um, that is the basic operation of the fuel uh, system on a carburetor motorcycle. The only other thing to note is that the fuel pump um, it isn't always pumping. Okay, so what happens is when the fuel is pumped up into the float bowls in the carburetors, there's little valves. And these little valves, once the, the float bowl is full of fuel, these little valves um, shut off the fuel from entering the float bowl. So these little valves in the carburetors make sure that the float bowls do not get flooded with fuel, which would then um, flood the uh, cylinder of your engine, which you don't want. So the correct level of fuel is kept in the float bowls by these little valves <clears throat> in the carburetors. And once that valve shuts, fuel can no longer be pumped via this pipe from the fuel pump. And therefore that, that pressure is just enough to stop the fuel pump pumping the fuel into the carburetor. Now once fuel has emptied enough from the uh, float bowl that the valve will open then the fuel pump senses that the pressure is low and it starts pumping again the fuel into the float bowls or the carburetors. So that's it in a nutshell, that's how the fuel system in a motorcycle works.